Alright, how's it going everybody? This is Is Morta, and this morning during my Saturday morning 9 a.m. Central, in this case, board game stream, going to be showing you some more Star Wars Legion stuff. Uh, the theme, as you can see here, is centered all around, I don't want to say Echo Base, but like doing stuff on Hoth, the Hoth-themed um, expansions for the Galactic Empire and the Rebellion. In particular, I want to show you the new Echo Base Defenders replacement kit, which I newly got and why I got it, as well as why did I get these two new additions for my armies being the Snow Speeder and the E-Web Heavy Blaster. Um, so I'm showing you uh, essentially an unboxing for the Air Speeder and the Blaster um, with the, the miniatures already assembled. These are all the pieces. I just took them out of the box as well as showing you what's in the Echo Base Defenders replacement kit and why that had to be requested. And of course, if you like what you see, be sure to comment here on twitch.tv slash Morta. And if you missed the live stream, you can also catch this the following day on YouTube at Shadow Balance Games. Testing, one, two, three. All right, sound is good. Cool, so let's jump into it. All right, so I will start with the elephant in the room. That way, in case you don't want to see the entire stream, that's fine. You can just see the newest of new, but I just want to show you other ways you can augment your cool force and the Hoth theme battles and um, miniatures that I had presented on a previous stream to add more life and options to those games. All right, so the new thing that I got uh, this week is the replacement kit for Echo Base Defenders. That's this expansion here. The whole point of the Echo Base Defenders expansion is you can instantly get an army that's themed. It doesn't have what you need to play the game. You still need the core box to have some of the components and stuff that doesn't provide. But this has otherwise everything you need. Like, for example, this doesn't have measuring um, tools. But this has like an entire army. So if you have measuring tools and the other core um, cards and tokens, boom, you can instantly play with Rebellion themed, Hoth themed army, which is really cool. Um, what I didn't find out until months after getting Echo Base Defenders, because I never actually played with the, token, with the, the game yet, I mean with this faction, but I built it was it was actually missing the vehicle token for the uh, laser cannon team here. What do I mean by that? I mean, I had all the tokens I need, but I was missing a rebellion um, vehicle order token. Um, so typically that wouldn't be a problem if you had other rebellion order tokens, but it has to be Rebellion, and it has to be for that right type of unit, whether it's a commander or a vehicle, right? And I didn't, because I just got this. And so what that means is, if all you get is this to play the army, you, you don't have what you need to play this, because you don't have the token to field in play. Now, if you had other tokens that you can do in lieu of it, like for example, that's why I got the... Uh, uh, snow speeder, um, then you would. Let's check one thing real quick. Oh, anyway, you've got snow speeder or something equivalent. Now I'm going to look at this. I think the snow speeder actually doesn't solve that problem. So I don't want to misinterpret. Just a second here. Yes, so that, that so I don't want to mislead. So yeah, so like if you had other expansions that had a similar token, and I'll show you the token of interest you get. So this is the essentially the kit you get. This isn't something you can order. It's something you go to your store and say you're missing it, and they can request it. 
It's basically just a, a, a sheet with legal crap on the front and the one token. And so this was the token that was missing in order to field it. And see, the problem was, is yes, you have stuff that says Rebellion, but if, if you have something else that has a vehicle in the back and the fact that like, I didn't have a vehicle. So when you pull out a bag, it's showing you, oh, this is what you want to play with. Um, so I go ahead and punch this out. So this is what I needed. This is all I needed. This way I can field this thing here, which is a, uh, actually, let me think, is this the symbol for a heavy vehicle or a light vehicle? I might actually be misspeaking here, actually. In any case, it's not the same one as this, and I believe this is a heavy, whereas the laser cannon's a light vehicle, if I recall. It just takes up a lot of space because you have a team. Um, so yeah, if you had extra ones, you could use it in lieu. Like for example, if you were just missing suppression tokens, you only have some number of suppression tokens anyway that you're, you're most likely ever gonna see in battle. So that's a mute point. But it's like, if you didn't previously have a light vehicle, you can't play with it. So, there go the problem. Uh, but so yeah, so now I have it, so now I have everything I need. But what I was thinking of, because originally I didn't know how long, and, and, for, and that's all you get in the kit, by the way. This missing token, so you could, you could field this. That's all the kit provides. Because that was all that was missing. But it's for this kit, again, Echo Base Defenders. And again, if you're missing it, just go to your store. They can, or, they can request to have a replacement kit set to the store to give to you. Um, but I was thinking, at the time, I was like, well, shit, I don't know when I'll get this because Echo Base Defenders came out like half a year ago, right? Is, okay, well, then just get another vehicle that's also Rebellion, that's light. So like you've got other Tauntauns or something you can replace it with. Or just get some other vehicles um, that'd be cool in, in lieu of it. You know, and that's why I got these as well. Because uh, the uh, Echo Base Defenders, it, when you're looking at the back, really is more defensive. Whereas the uh, Empire version of the starter kit, it's more offensive. What I mean by that is this has fixed placements like these uh, smaller E-Web Blasters, as well as this defensive gun. Whereas uh, the Empire version has that ATST and more units that are mobile and not um, stationary. So this, is, so this is more tailored to holding positions, whereas the other factions are more tailored to taking positions. But what if you want to mix and match? And that's, and that's why I wanted to show you these other options that you can mix and match your Hoth battle experience. Is you get the, it's called the T-47 Airspeeder, but classically it's called a Snow Spear because that's when you first saw it. Um, this adds more offensive capability, even more so than, I would say, even the ATST. The ATST has more firepower, but this is more mobile while, have, while hitting like a truck. You can have it fly to everyone's battlefield and punch you those hard to get positions. As opposed to having, let's say, a laser turret that's stationary. They can only hold one position. Um, in addition, if you want to mix and match for the Empire, there's this, uh, and I'll sh zoom in on both these, um, the heavy E-Web Blaster, which is basically a bigger version of this gun here. As you see, also a bigger battery. Actually, it has an, a, 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 a battery it draws from because it's so powerful. Boom, boom, boom. Pew, pew. Um, so if you want to have the, more of that defensive play, like ATST, you can also use defensively because it's so slow, but this way you can really dig in and hold position. With this gun. Um, so now I'll show you the models and then what you get for each one for these other expansions. This is the heavy E Web Blaster Team for the Empire and the T 47 Air Speeder for the Rebels. So we'll start with Air Speeder. And I'll, I'll, to be honest, like I got this because, you know, obviously I was pissed because I couldn't feel this. But now that I have it, yay, 
But now it's like, now I have more options. So you can mix and match, even if you want to keep playing with Rebellion or keep playing with, the, with Empire themed Hoth, you have cool options. As well as you saw in my previous streams, you can also augment with, I augment the mine with other stuff that were just fun that I always wanted. Like I got the Emperor and his Royal Guard uh, for uh, the Rebels. I got the Wookiee expansion. Since I had Chewbacca, so you have Chewbacca and friends. It's a, lot, a lot of cool stuff. All right, so now I'll show you what's in the air speeder. First, I'll show you the model. Now, there were options to building this model for the air speeder, um, meaning you could have opened these flaps um, underneath and above. Don't worry, uh, that's what, the reason why this is moving is so you can move it. It's not glued on. You can glue it, I just didn't. I probably should. Consider I'm not gonna change the position again. For some reason I was thinking that you wanna be able to maneuver it, but if you're maneuvering it, you need to take the base anyway. But just so I have that option. In case you want to go on top of a building, it's not will be wobbly. You can just, you know, place on top. Sure, some more views of this. But yeah, it's what you'd think and see for an air speeder, which is pretty cool. Pretty sleek, just because I'm not doing the flaps, which I still have. Uh, the other thing you have is there are two different versions of this gun in the back. This one, I'm doing the classic harpoon. But what I did is I didn't glue it. I just set it in. So in that little slot... So you can actually replace with its other weapon, which is the uh, blaster cannon as well. This way I can mix and match if I want to do one or the other. I'll see if it lets me have it zoom in. There you go. I'll show you the cards. You'll be able to see it better as well. Functionally what it is. Um, but yeah, you, there's also little gears so that those flaps that I had affixed, you can actually use these to open the flaps and you would glue these between the flap and the model. I just thought it looked better in this classic version. Here is the how to build, which is pretty straightforward. See on the right shows you how to build the flaps. On the left, it shows you the two different gun models. Again, I recommend not gluing the gun. That way you can mix and match, pull it in and out. If you want to have it thematically match whatever cards you're playing with. And then there's some additional rules on the back that introduces like Arsenal X, fixed rear immune blast, tow cable, immune to melee. I would say the two biggest ones is the immune to melee because Jedi can't take advantage of taking out heavy targets, which is kind of huge. And then also the tow cable, which allows, if you're using uh, this tow weapon here, effectively you can move past the unit. And if you've hit it prior, after you move, you can immediately turn, which is huge. So you keep doing strafing runs. And at distance, because you can move. And if you've shot and then move and then do the ability, you can turn. It's pretty great. Or it can even do the opposite. You could fire and then move and then turn since you already did the fire. Unless there's certain order operations there. Uh, because then you'll be close. And if you're in close, people can't melee you. You're immune to melee. They have to be at a greater distance. But we'll take a look at the weapon so you can see the ruling for it. Which I'll show you next. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. We'll do tokens later since I'm talking about it. All right, so here's the T-47 airspeeder. Sorry, make sure you can see all the data. You see it's a lot, but it's a, it's a big boy. It hits, it hits as much as hard as a Jedi, but you can shoot at range. And you see it's speed three. So you have something that's heavy that's moving super fast, and that's huge. And it hits like a truck. It has a lot of hit points, a lot of hull. 
You can use two of its weapons, meaning you can use its tow cable and its guns. So you could shoot, move, and then tow cable from behind and then turn around. Uh, it has armor, so it can cancel weaker hits. And it has cover. It's like, it's, it's a beast. It's a beast. It's fast. It hits hard. It's probably the best unit, honestly, for the Rebellion Hoth army to have created for all these reasons. Here's the back. As you can see, there's other rules. All right, here are the cards. So we have the uh, MODX Power Harpoon, which allows you to use that tow cable ability from behind. It doesn't hit for much. But you're not using this as a weapon. You're using this to change your position so that you can keep shooting from the front. Next, you have the AX-108 Ground Buzzer, which is the other weapon you could swap in, which um, hits a lot harder, has the same distance, but won't allow you to turn around. But depending on what you're doing, maybe you don't want to turn around. That's also true. But you can only have one or the other. I just think the toe change position is a great strategy because you, you can essentially do strafing runs, which I thought was a cool idea. Uh, we have Wedge and Tillies, which allows you to perform a pivot, which is huge. So if you wanted to use those rear guns, if you had Wedge and Tillies, you could do it without using a tow cable. Uh, long range comm link. So when you're really far away, because it's going really fast, people can communicate with you. I would say it's probably a requirement with this guy because it's so fast. Uh, comms jammer. It does the opposite. So since it goes so fast, you can go into deep with an enemy territory to prevent them from doing communications with vital units, which is also an interesting strategy. And that's, that's all the cards. Next, I'll show you the tokens. So yeah, again, like we just joined, like this is showing you what you get in the replacement kit, which is vital to have everything you need for the, the Echo Base Defenders, and essentially an unboxing that was already unboxed with the built miniatures for the uh, Snow Speeder, I call it Snow Speeder, and the E-Web Heavy Blaster. So that was Eric Kidden. And of course, like you should see, be sure to comment and or like here on twitch.tv slash this morning. And again, you can catch the video the following day if you miss my pretty voice on at uh, Shadow Balance Games. All right, so here's the token for uh, the snow speeder. You see it's a different vehicle token. Now, what I don't know, I have to say off the top of my head, is which one is heavy. This is because I don't know off the top of my head. But they are different. This one is the uh, laser team, and this one's the uh, the bottom one's the uh, air speeder. My guess is the air speeder's the heavy because typically when you have um, something added on to an emblem, like in military, that means it's a higher rank. Like if you add wings to a star, that's a higher rank, sort of thing. And plus, it looks bigger. Like the the uh, the. Cannon team, the only reason why it's on a big platform is because you have a team. So you have a place to put the guys. But it, it is smaller than the uh, snow speeder. But anyway, so here's the order token. Uh, and then you have this other classic tokens for it. Like you have your different vehicle tokens. You have your hit tokens. And you have your other status tokens. Status tokens are always green if they're positive and uh, yellow if they're um, CC was what I call it. And I believe red if it's bad, like hits. Uh, and proof, proof of purchase. The point of this, I don't know, other than saying that you had it, in case for some reason they say, well, 
you know, like if someone can cheat to try to say they want a replacement by saying, hey, I took a picture of the back of the box. It's like, no, if you want a replacement, you have to show proof of purchase, which might be a requirement from your store, let's say, if you want to get maybe this, this prove that you got it, and then just take a picture of it, possibly. Oh, uh, no, Tauntauns. Yeah, you want Tauntauns. That's why you got to get this fucking expansion because it actually gives you two groups of this. So you actually get four Tauntauns. So you can go, meh, or whatever sound they make. All right, so next up I'm going to show you is the e Heavy E-Web Blaster Team. So again, this blaster is larger than what you see here for Rebel Veterans. And notice it's, it's manned by two people instead of one. Bigger gun and also has a very large uh, battery. It poses a little dinky thing underneath his gun. Why? Because it hits harder. Bigger, better. Boom, boom. And it's also stationary. I believe it can move slow. We'll look at the car in a sec. And, you know, you have to tell which way you're facing. So it's very cumbersome. That's because it's meant to be a defensive unit. Um, question from Zero Kid. And, uh, do you get all the stuff in the back of the box? So everything I'm showing you here is not in the box. These are, these are additional expansions and replacement kits. But everything you see in this kit, in this expansion for Echo Base Defenders, you get all of that in the back. Everything you see, you get. And, and then multiples that it shows. So you get these, these units times four, these guys times two, and all this other shit. Um, and that's also why when you look at the back of this box, why I additionally got Luke and Han Solo additional expansions. Because you basically got all of the main people in the uh, show except for Luke and Han. So that's why I went and got Luke and Han independently. They could say, what about Obi-Wan? I don't have Obi-Wan because technically I have um, Obi-Wan in the um, Clone Wars um, Galactic Republic is why. Plus, he was also dead when we got the Hoth. So, you know, spoiler, not a participant. I guess I could, someone can make a version of him that's translucent plastic and say, hey, it's the Force Ghost of, of Obi-Wan. Okay, anyway. So let me show you now what you get in the E-Web Blaster stuff. All right, so this is uh, how you build it, which is pretty straightforward. Um, below shows you what you get. And on the back, just like the other time, it shows you additional rules. You have emplacement trooper and how that means because this doesn't work like a typical trooper. And, and it's all the rules on how, really, on how you, emplacement troopers work. That they fact that, for example, they can't climb or clamber. Uh, you can obscure other minis um, line of sight, et cetera, et cetera. You can see here. They have a lot of special rules. All right. All right, next I'll show you the cards. All right, so here we go. E-Web Heavy Blaster Team. You see here, um, it has three different strikes as unarmed, if for some reason you can't use a weapon. Or you just want to do that in addition because someone's at melee distance, for example. You have an unarmed strike. And then you also have your uh, blaster rifles as well as E-Web Heavy Blaster. And you would say, hey, Batman, why would you use the um, blaster rifle and not the E-Web? Because remember, the, the heavy blaster is fixed. So if someone's attacking you from your side or behind at range, you want to shoot them, you would have to use your blaster rifle if you want to get a hit. Similar, if they're in melee, you, can, you would only and can also use your unarmed strike. But obviously what you want to do is the, sorry, I keep moving my hand, the E-Web Heavy Blaster, which hits like a truck. And you can see rules on how to pivot and reposition in the body of the card. 
Um, 50 points, it's actually pretty affordable compared to doing 175 for the Snow Speeder if you just want something that does the same amount of damage but without the mobility and half the hit points. Pretty interesting option because for half, for a third of the cost, you have the same attack. You just have half the hit points and dick for mobility, essentially. But it's also a lot cheaper than ATST as well. All right. Now I'll show you some of the other cards. This guy didn't have any other um, options like the uh, Snow Speeder did as far as plastic. Which you see is what you get. Which you see, I'm, I'm sure that's off a song. Which you see is, I'm sure it is. Okay, here I have um, Barrage Generator. You can do Suppression, which is typical for something cumbersome. Um, overcharge Generator. They can do more damage. And then you also have HQ Uplink, which is um, interesting because you could do a, issue an order to yourself and not to rely on a commander, so you can quickly respond if your place is getting attacked. So you could do that defensive fire. And that's all the cards. Now I'll show you tokens. A lot of these are similar. So for this guy, you see it is a uh, light vehicle. See, this is the same token that it was for the laser cannon team. But unfortunately, you can't use this for, as a um, proxy for it because it's Empire. But like I said, if you had any other Rebellion light vehicle, like Extra Tauntaun or something, you could use that in lieu of the laser cannon. So it's a light vehicle. Um, and then you had the similar tokens, identical to the other one. You got your proof of purchase. You got your red hit tokens. You have a little bit less, only because it has less hit, hit points. Um, you have your suppression tokens. And other effect tokens. And you have your other status tokens. And that is everything you get for all of these uh, expansions. Um, so yeah, that's really all I want to show you. I just want to show you, hey, the new stuff for your, to, to augment your missing piece for Echo Base Defenders is now available. Go check your local, uh, friendly local game store. Um, but and then other options to augment your Hoth experience, if you don't have it already, because I didn't have it previously, is you have your Snow Speeder for mobile Pew Pew or your heavy E Web Blaster Team for stationary Pew Pew. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Ismorda, and I'll catch you next time. Go take the snow.